Hi there and welcome to the Dawn Show. Dawn stands Lamenti here. You know, as we get older, I know we don't want to talk about it, but our bones and our joints lose strength and flexibility, which can, of course, lead to pain and sometimes arthritis and even surgery. But the doctors and surgeons at Virtua Health are fixing that and helping patients to have full lives after surgery, quickly after surgery. Let's get to Dr. Manny Parat, who's here from uh, Virtua Joint Replacement Institute. Welcome. Thank you, Don, for having me. So first of all, what's amazing, and, and in a moment you're gonna meet Rich, um, who went through your program. My necklace is all messed up here, so I gotta fix it. So, so Rich, you know, a decade ago had joint replacement surgery and then recently had it with you. His story's amazing, we'll get to him later, but that's the real miracle here, is the quick recovery time. We are, that's a great point. Um, patients are uh, truly living longer and staying more active, which uh, I know is a, a hot topic today. Um, they often find arthritis debilitating, ruins our quality of life, and uh, here at Virtua's group and uh, the group that I work with, Reconstructive Orthopedics, uh, we're trying to uh, have patients get their life back sooner, quicker. And in fact, that's your slogan, right? Get my that's life right. back. I mean, that's right. and, and you know, when you think about it, when you can't, when you when you don't have your knees or your hips, you're you're completely destabilized. I mean, you're in bed, Agreed. Agreed. in pain. So talk to me about this new center and how exciting it is for you. Uh, so Virtua established the Joint Replacement Institute at their uh, Voorhees campus. It is a, a state-of-the-art facility, uh, brand new, with um, individual beds and a staff that is second to none, world-class. Uh, what we like to think is that we're giving world-class uh, care, and I think you'll find out shortly from patients they're saying the same things, um, where we do hip and knee replacements, with uh, quick turnover times, quick recovery, safety, uh, and uh, fantastic results. How many people are we talking about who, because I, I meet more and more people who say, oh, I just had hip replacement, sure. just had knee replacement. Sure, it is, uh, is an epidemic in America. Uh, again, uh, due to environmental factors, uh, the way we live our lives, and certainly uh, the fact that we're active at such a uh, uh, advanced age, uh, hip and knee replacements are coming uh, tremendously, tremendously more common. So millions of Americans are that going through this. That is correct, Don. And so I used to think of it as more as like the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, you hear about them as they're sure. aging. If you're a professional athlete or any level of an Absolutely. athlete, the knees go. But this is for, um, what, three million Americans a year or something? It, it, yes, the statistics are um, a tremendous. Uh, um, multiple studies demonstrate that in the next 10, 15 years, there'll be about 3.5 million uh, knee replacements and probably a little under a million hip replacements every single year. So what do you use? Because it sounds a little scary. Sure. I was even looking at the sure. video and it looks like they've got some glue going yeah, absolutely. in there. How absolutely. do you do it? So um, they are uh, done differently. A, a hip and a knee replacement um, are slightly separate. A hip, knee, uh, hip replacement traditionally in America is uh, done, meaning it's press fitted. So a space is made inside the hip itself. Uh, after bone is removed to stabilize it. A knee, traditionally done, can be either the same way, press fitted, or used, uh, have glue, uh, cement that holds it in place. What is it? Is it metal? Is it plastic? What, what it is, is a it combination. It is a combination. Right. So uh, most of it is metal. Uh, usually the bearing surface tends to be a metal on plastic or perhaps a uh, ceramic on plastic. So technology keeps, keeps changing and improving. It does and improving. It's amazing. And, you know, later we're going to have our friends from Future Fitness sure. here and talk about how we can hopefully prevent even those injuries by just keeping in shape. Absolutely. But one of the problems is obesity is an epidemic. Am I, am I right Absolutely here? Absolutely I true. Mean, the more weight you put on your joints. Uh, you hit it on the nail. It is certainly uh, plaguing America uh, in multiple forms, not only in the musculoskeletal, but clearly in uh, cardiac and uh, lung issues. And it, um, it's a tremendous problem. So how much, because everybody says this word obese, but how much weight does it take to put, um, to put a horrible amount of strain on your knee? Sure. Or, I mean, are we talking 15 pounds, 20 pounds? What's the breaking point where That's you say, this is horrible for your knees and your hips and your joints? It's a great question. Uh, I don't know if there's an absolute number per se. Everybody's built a little different and their bone structure is uh, slightly different. Certainly, um, multiple studies have indicated that the heavier you are, uh, the more likely you are to put more stress, uh, undue stress, on these joints. 
Um, so it, it, the absolute weight doesn't make as much as a difference as to how tall you are and proportionally how much weight you have. Okay, got it. So we're going to have uh, more with Doctor. We're going to meet Rich when we come back, uh, which is going to be good. You're going to love meeting him and his recovery time story Fantastic. is incredible. All right, more when we come right back here on The Dawn Show.